job entry in Lightning can be as quick or detailed as necessary. To start a new job, you can either go to the jobs list and click on new job, or use the plus sign at the top right of the screen and click on job. In this training, we'll go through a very quick job entry process. In order to start a new job, you need to fill out the required fields indicated here on the main screen. I'm gonna start with the name of this job. I know that this job is happening, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it as active. This will impact my availability of the products I add to the job. I'm gonna leave the office as the corporate office that I have selected. Next, I'm going to select my job type. I'm gonna leave it as rental and fill out the job dates on the right-hand side that are corresponding to the job type of rental. Now I'm going to add my client using the magnifying glass here for the client and select the client I want to do this job for using the green plus sign. Client was now added here. Next, I'm going to add the venue. This isn't a required step, but I'm going to go ahead and add it for this video. Again, similar to client, we're going to use the green plus sign to add this venue to the job. Once all of my required fields are filled out, I can go ahead and click save. Once this page reloads, I now have a job number indicated at the top, letting me know that this job has saved to the system. Now this job can be referenced using the search window up here or by going back to this jobs list and searching for this job for future reference. All of the drop downs on this main job page are filled out under your management tab and system settings. Please refer to our videos and additional training tools on how to utilize the system settings to customize all the drop downs throughout the tabs on the screen. There are many areas on this main job screen that can be updated. Again, for this video, I'm going to go through a quicker job entry process. Please refer to our more detailed job entry video for details on what each of these tabs can do. So once I save the main job information here, I can now move left to right across the, the blue bar at the top of this screen, going through the products entry, the labor entry, any additional charges, and then ultimately emailing this job out to the client. I'm gonna go into the products. There are two ways that you can add products to this job either with the product search here or the quick add. The product search is going to allow you to search through your inventory that is set up in the inventory and products window by using the options dropdown and selecting which designations and categories, for instance, you want to search through. Once I click search, I'll see a result all the results that fit that search criteria. I can add these products to the job uh, several ways. I can add using the plus sign, which will bring up an editor window. So I can make additional adjustments prior to adding it to the job. I can click on this item and use add selected or simply drag and drop this item to this job. I'm going to go ahead and use the add selected option to add this product to the job. Once it is on the grid to the left here, this product has been added to the job. Using the quick add, this is a better solution for those who know exactly what they are looking for. I looked for a specific product name. I can click on that item, adjust any quantity and pricing, and then again, click add in order to move this item over to the job. Any further adjustments on this page can be made by using the edit pencil for each of these products bringing up more tools that you can specify the details for this product. You can also add or edit sets, which would break these products out into different rooms or days or however you choose to utilize the sets. Moving on to the labor tab, you can add labor by either specifying through the options down here, any details of how you want to add them. Otherwise I can search for a talent here 
Again, adjust my quantity and my rate. Use the options details to change any tasks or start or end dates that they might be doing. And then to add this labor talent to the job, I'm going to select that talent and click add selected. This will add that talent line to the job in the grid on the left. Any adjustments that need to be made to this labor line can be done by double clicking throughout the grid and changing any rates, times, dates, or using the tools at the top of the page to do mass updates or adding them into sets or sending out confirmation emails for those labor personnel. Finally, I'm going to go through our delivery and miscellaneous tab. Similar to the product search, we can either search by designation and category, or we can look for a specific item by using the search and add that item either by selecting and clicking add selected or by dragging and dropping that item to the job over here. The products that display in the add delivery and miscellaneous are going to be added to your inventory products with the sale type of shipping or miscellaneous. That is going to dictate which products will pull into the screen on the right. Finally, I will go through and email this job out. So when I go to the email tab here, I can select which uh, document I want to send to the client. I want to send a job contract detailed here. That's going to attach that document to this job. I can select emails from the client contacts to add email addresses to this email. I can also select from my internal contacts to add any other Lightning user email addresses to this job. Finally, I can type up my email template, change the subject, and ultimately click send. For more information on job entry, please reach out to our team. You can also refer to our other training materials and more detailed videos on job entry and all of these products and options. Finally, please use the documentation that you can find in Lightning at the top of top right of the screen using the question mark. And under documentation for job entry, you want to click on creating a new job, which is the option that will walk you through every field on this job entry process and tell you a bit more about it.